The other games I've covered so far have deep, risky narratives that push boundaries in their genres and are unconventional in their approach to interactive storytelling. They took risks that paid off, spun classic game tropes on their heads, and left the player feeling something truly unique. Which is why I've covered those games and their respective, specific narrative moments. Moments that push an already good game into something great, maybe even masterful. Does Deadbolt have one of those moments of grandiose that change and impact every game you play afterwards and empathetically change you as a person to view the world slightly different? No, no, not really, but it's really freaking fun. Deadbolt is one of those games that's just genuinely a great time and is also fantastically made. Very simple mechanics that are tested and changed as the game progresses, a noir-esque underbelly of the city aesthetic, an interesting world filled with various underworld monsters progressively get more intense as you progress. Each faction has different weapons and several different enemy types for you to tackle, and the soundtrack by Chris Christo, Christo de Loop, I God, I butchered that, is just absolutely fantastic. The art has simple shapes, but bloody visuals and ragdoll effects. The world building has esoteric dialogue and interesting creatures with nightlife environments. The game design and different systems at play all work together. The droning music and impactful shooting sound effects are all on point. Even the programming and how the game is made is mostly on point too. It's not a lot of bugs, and the game is pretty impressive for a game maker game, but there is a hiccup or two at times. Practically every level introduces a new mechanic, or adds an extra layer to one of the pre-existing ones. Adding handles to open vents to change how vents work, swinging doors that you can't knock on, new enemy types like vampires who stand on ceilings, or skeletons you can't see until you alert them. Every level feels fresh and replaying the game several years after release still feels great. Even though every level adds a new twist, the core game still stays the same. You can shoot, you can vent, you can knock, you can punch, and you can throw. That's pretty much it, but it's still a fantastic time. I know it's bad to make comparisons and not like the correct way to critique and judge, but Deadbolt feels like the perfect blend of Hotline Miami and Metal Gear Solid. It's violent and fast, but still stealth-focused and methodically laid out. So why am I highlighting a great moment for this game? Where's the insane meta-commentary of Doki Doki Literature Club or No More Heroes? Where's the profound statement of being a human being against the larger evil world such as Last of Us or Lisa the Painful? Every single time I think of Deadbolt, and every time I remember playing it, I remember how absolutely amazing it feels to do this. The key art for the game is a view of the Reaper through a people, which is emblematic of the entire idea of Deadbolt. Hell, even the name of the game relates to the one-two punch of knocking and capping the poor dumb idiot that opens the door. From the first stage of the game all the way to the final boss, you always have the ability to lure someone with a knock, ready the gun, and blow apart some sort of ghoul. It works for melee weapons too, lifting up a sledgehammer, then slamming it down on a ragdolling vampire as he gently opens the door feels just as good as shooting them in the face. This mechanic is expanded upon as well, adding in swinging doors that you can't knock on and don't need to be open, locked doors that create dynamic situations of either trying to desperately pick the lock or be forced to knock and alert someone. Rather than answering the door, the D-bag te technician skeleton immediately starts planning mines upon hearing a knock. High caliber bullets can even go through doors, which bring back to the feelings of clutch siege plays or the Breaking Bad finale. There's even a level that flips the script on the game's mechanics, adding traps to everything and forcing you to play differently than you ever had to before. I think the entire game was built around the concept of knocking on a door and shooting the person who opens it up. This mechanic is the most fleshed out compared to the others and makes the game feel unique and memorable. Deadbolt's identity as a game is the Reaper knocking. 
He invites whichever poor soul opens the door into the afterlife, or into the world of Deadbolt. Deadbolt is also the name of the city the game takes place in. So when you're looking at the Reaper through the peephole on the game's store page, the Reaper is literally inviting you into the game world of Deadbolt. He knocked on that door to let you into the game world, just like he knocks on hundreds of doors throughout the game. A knock on a door as a game mechanic seems really silly when I say it out loud. Honestly, it sounds, sounds pretty dumb when I say it out loud. But that knock became one of the best examples of Game Design 101 I've ever seen taking a simple but extremely fun concept and building upon it over the course of the entire game. And Deadbolt is a fantastic game, with an absolutely phenomenal mechanic that will stick with you honestly forever. I think I'll always remember down the line how it feels to knock on a door and shoot a guy in the face in every single game I play with guns in it. And I'm glad the Reaper knocked on my door and invited me into this world of Deadbolt. God, I really need to stop writing cheesy endings. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you again for watching it, and please take care out there.